Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to show you how to solo Urbion, which is the out-of-print game in the Oniverse series by Shadi Torbay. Urbion is a game that's all about balance, so what we're going to be doing is trying to get equal numbers of good and bad dreams on each side of various city cards so that we can balance the cities, claim them as points, and see if we can get them all before we run out of cards in this deck. So setup for Urbion is super easy. There are 12 cities in this city deck. Our goal is to claim all of them and balance checks, which I'll show you how to do shortly. But for setup, you just set out four of them. One, two, three. Let's move these up. Four. So there are only four cities out at a given time. You'll notice that each city has some symbols in the top corners, which we are going to get to in a moment. And then once you have laid out your cities, you are going to randomly draw two cards from the deck for each of them and place them next to those cities. So let's see what we get for this one. Oh, great. We already have a chaos card. Awesome. So these are the cards that are kind of like the nightmare cards in Onirim. They show up and they make your life difficult. In this case, what's going to happen with this chaos card is we're going to draw another card, in this case, a negative dream, a negative three. And this is going to go on the same side. So now we have negative eight over here. So it kind of overpowers the side that's already ahead and creates imbalance. So that's what that chaos card will do. Here we have a plus two and a negative three. So that one's a little closer to being in balance. Here we have a minus one and a minus three, tending to the negative. We gotta have better dreams, y'all. All right, then we have a positive two and a positive two. Okay, so this one's a little bit more positive leaning as a city. So what we're gonna be trying to do is bring all of these cities into balance and then perform balance checks to claim them for ourselves and then lay out more city cards from the deck. So now I'm gonna go ahead and draw my opening hand at four cards and we'll see what we get. So we have a negative three, a positive one, a positive two, and a positive two. Things are looking up, everyone. All right, so on your turn, you have a couple of options. You can either play one of these cards to a city, or you can discard one to do one of three things. So if I chose to discard one of my dream cards, I could swap. What that basically means is that I could swap two cards on one side, so I could swap like the one and the three to make this total lower up here, or something like that. So I can swap cards as long as they're on the same side of the cities. I could do what's called a balance check, where if I had cities in balance, I could do a balance check to claim those. And then if I had some cities that weren't in balance but had an equal valued cards on both sides, I could pull those cards out to kind of get lower totals. Because the other thing is that you can only have three cards on each side. So I'm already at two out of a possible three here. I'm already at two out of a possible three here. So if I'm having a hard time getting this total of eight, I might, you know, put a three over here, do a balance check, and take both threes out to try to get the city easier to balance by lowering the totals on either side. So I think I said three before, but it's only two things. You can discard a card to swap, or you can discard for a balance check and do all the things that come with that. So the other thing to know before we started playing is that these cards were just kind of randomly put out with a new city. But as I play cards in the future, I have to be attentive to the symbols that are on the top corners of these cards. So these symbols are representative of the four elements, earth, air, fire, water. And in order to play a dream card to each of these cities, I'm going to have to have at least one of the symbols on the dream card that I'm playing to match the city that I'm playing that card on. So for example, I could play these two dreams that have air symbols here or here, but not on these two cities here. So I have to be attentive to that. So I have these four cards. Let's think about what to do. Also, more chaos cards will come up. They do horrible things, and we will discuss them when I draw one. All right, so I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I need to start working on this total up here. So I'm going to put that two right up here by that air sign. So now I have drawn a negative two, which is not the most exciting, but let's kind of see what comes out of the deck. You know, let's try four. I actually have an idea. So let's put this two here again. So now we have four versus eight, but there's something I can do about that theoretically. All right, I don't need all these negative cards 
especially these because they have water on them and there's already enough negativity over on the side near these water cities. So I'm actually gonna discard this negative two. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm going to move this chaos card down here and swap it with the one. So now that five is still dogging me, but I've brought this city into balance and I'm just gonna kind of see if I can do a bit more. So let's draw another card. Okay, so now we have another positive two and it can go here, interesting. So there's a little bit of a push your luck element in Urbion that is interesting. So the city is in balance, but I might not wanna do a balance check right now because that's not very economical. I want to get as many cities as possible claimed on one balance check. If I can get all four cities in balance and claim them at a balance check, then I get an extra city card from the city deck as part of my reward for that. So even though there are chaos cards in here waiting to mess me up, the temptation to let things run for as long as possible is very strong. All right, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this card here. As you can see, these symbols match, so it's legal play. Let's start getting some positivity on this side so I can deal with this. And we'll draw another card. Interesting, okay, so. One thing I might like to do is get this. Okay, so I can't, this has fire on it. I can't play it here and keep messing with this total. What I could do is I can put it here and then try to swap it down. Because part of my goal is to get enough cards down here to balance out that chaos card and get rid of it. So I'm gonna play this card here and put a really strong positive balance over here. And then I did get a plus two, which is really, really good because I'm trying to get to eight. All right, so I actually have a plan. Let's see if I can pull this off before I pull a chaos card. So I'm going to put this one down because I want to do some swapping. Okay, so I don't really need this. There's a lot of these in the deck and I have a lot of positive stuff going on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and discard this card and I'm going to swap these two right here. So now I have six and then three and three here. So let's see if I can pull something good off. Okay, so we have another negative, oof. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this two right here because that's a nice little legal play. And I have two, four, six, eight to eight. Three and three, four and four. So it's three out of the four cities in balance. I would really like to do a balance check. And then I got another positive four. Told you there were a lot of these in here. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is discard for a balance check. What do I wanna to toss? I kinda of want these negative cards so I can work over here. But I also have a lot of them. I'm gonna dump this negative water card because I can't play it here anyway. And I do wanna keep some positive stuff in my hand to work with for a balance check. So I've discarded this card, I get to do a balance check. What that means is that we check for balance on each of these cities. So negative four, positive four balance and I get to claim this for my score pile over here. Negative three, positive three, also balanced. And then this will go in my discard pile. And then negative eight, positive eight. This city is also balanced. So we'll discard these cards, including this chaos card, good riddance. And the city will go in my city discard pile. So I've got three points basically of 12 in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to put out three more cities. And we're going to draw two cards per city, just like before. So this will be a negative one and a negative three. This one will have a positive four and a negative one. This one's gonna have a positive four. I told you there are a lot of these in the deck. And a negative three. And that's it. There's a bunch of chaos cards in here hanging out waiting to mess up our day, so it's inevitable. And then we're gonna draw up. All right, so now we have four cards in here. And let's, uh, let's see what to do next. 
One thing that I can do is maybe a little bit of work down here because this has no negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this negative three right here. So it's negative three to positive four and maybe I can do a little bit of swapping around to help myself out. Draw another card. Where are these chaos cards? I'm starting to get scared. Here's what we can do. Let's put this negative three here. That seems like a plan. And we'll draw up. Oh, it's chaos card. It was going to happen. When a chaos card comes up, there's three things that can happen and they're all bad. The first one is that we can play this next to a city card, but we have to play it on the side that already has more points. So we could play it here and create a negative 11, for example, or we could play it here and end up with a positive nine to a negative one. So they're very damaging in that sense because they take weight that's already there and make it more difficult to deal with. I might put it here since that would be nine to three and I feel like that's a better situation, but it's still not great. Our second option is that I could discard this chaos card, but if I had a city that was in balance, I would have to discard all the cards on both sides. So when you do a balance check, if a city has no cards on either side of it, that doesn't count as balance, it's just nothing. So I don't have any cities that are balanced right now, but if I did, I could choose to give up the cards on both sides of that city in order to get rid of this chaos card. The other option is that I can discard the card and then reveal the first four cards of this deck and everyone that's a normal dream card, positive or negative, I would have to discard from the game so it works through your timer more quickly. You know, when we run out of this deck, we lose. Also, if you pull more chaos cards during that, you have to resolve them as well. So you can end up getting really hit by a bunch of chaos cards at once. I think what I'm gonna do for now is we're gonna say it's positive and I'm gonna put it here. We're gonna go for the nine to three situation. It's not ideal, but I think we can do something with it. So we'll pull another card and see where it goes. Let me think about what I should do. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this one right up here so I can get some movement going on down here. We'll draw a card. Ooh, it's another chaos card. Oh shoot. Okay. Mm. Again, I don't have anything in balance, so I can't dump it. Um, let's do the discard thing this time. I don't really want, I don't, I'm running out of room on some of these sides. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and discard it, but we have to take the top four off the deck. So this is gone. It's another chaos card, so we have to resolve this one. So this one I'm just gonna go ahead and put out. Let's put it, um, let's put it here. Not fun. Two, three, four. So we lost a bunch of cards, but at least we kind of got rid of one of the chaos cards, but there's another one that's out. So as you can see, this game is pretty brutal in that respect. So we'll draw our hand back up and we've got some stuff to work with. Okay, so let's think about what to do. Let's do this. Let's discard one of these cards. Let's ditch one of these positive twos. Maybe this one. In order to exchange some cards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade the places between this four and this one, which brings one of the cities into balance and makes this situation better because there are some negative twos in the deck. So I think that that is a good choice. So let's draw up. Okay, so we got another positive four, which actually is not that bad right now because this is four. This would make this eight. Hmm, I don't love this. Let's see what else we can do with our cards for right now. So this one's in balance, which I like. These aren't, but we can maybe get somewhere with them. Hmm, I actually have an idea. Okay, let's do this. Let's discard a card to do some swapping. Okay, here's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and discard this. Let's discard one of the positive fours because they're just kind of overwhelming. And we're going to swap these. So now it's just negative seven on this side and a positive five here to a four, which does change things up quite a bit. That's much better. All right, so we've got a plus two. Let's see what we can do with that. 
Hmm. Okay. I think what I want to do is we're going to ditch another one of these positive twos to swap here like this. Is this what I wanted? What was I doing? Yeah, this is what I wanted. Yes. So we're going to swap like this. So this way we have three of five, but here we have five and five, four and four. If we don't draw another chaos card, which we did not, we might be able to do something. Okay. Hold up. This is actually potentially kind of nice. All right, here's what I'm actually gonna do. I wanna do another swap. Yes. So let's go ahead and get rid of, I feel like we got a lot of plus twos, or do I wanna dump a plus four? Let's get rid of a plus four. We're discarding that card in order to swap these two. So now we have three, and then we have six versus seven, which is not bad. Really not bad at all. I think we're probably gonna try for a balance check on the next turn. Okay, and we did draw a negative two, which also would have balanced things out, which is pretty good. But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna toss a card out. So let's discard for a balance check and try to get some of these cities off the board. Cause we're, you know, we don't have that much deck left and there's some chaos cards left in there. So let's go ahead and dump, plus ones are kind of hard to find. I really like those. Let's just this negative one. I might regret that. Uh, I don't play this game well enough to know how to card count super well with it, so it could always be a mistake. But let's do a balance check. So these the city's in balance. Excellent. So negative four, positive four. This one's negative five, positive five. So these come into my score pile. And then we have negative three, positive three. Excellent. And then this will come into our score pile. And now we're gonna lay out three fresh cities. Let's just do them up so that they fit on camera. So now we have six cities left. We're halfway there. I don't know if we're gonna win it, but hey, you know, we've done some stuff, that's cool. All right, and then, so this is gonna be, uh, so that'll just go over here. Positive two. Oh, oh, this is gonna be rough. And this is negative three and negative three. Okay. Well then, and then we'll draw one more and I got a negative one. Okay, so now I have to figure out what to do with this mess. I would like, here's what I might do. Okay, let's put, mm, I need to be able to play something here and I can't because I don't have any of the symbols to play here. That sucks, because I have some ideas. Let's go ahead and put this negative two. Well, there's nowhere I can put that either. I'm having some symbology issues here. Let's take this negative one then and we'll just put it like here. Let's put it here on this side so I can cycle through some more cards. Okay, so here's a nice fat positive four. That's good news. Okay. This for now. Oh, we got a positive two that'll fit right here. Okay, so that city's actually in balance right now. But I've got just a lot of positive cards over here and it's kind of hard. One thing I could do is swap this four and this two maybe. I mean, this chaos card and this four, I can see that working out pretty well. I need negative cards to play up here and I'm just not getting them, which is also difficult. All right, so let's do a discard for a swap. Let's discard, I have two of these plus ones. So let's dump this to swap these two. That way it's now positive seven, negative seven. We also have positive six, negative six. So two of these cities are in balance. We could just go for a balance check and get all four of the remaining cities in the board, or we can play a little riskier. Mm -hmm. It's a hard choice. All right, let's go ahead and put this here since these symbols match. So I've got a negative three going on that side. Ooh, that was lucky and another. So this city is now also in balance. That's very encouraging. Okay. 
Ooh. Is there anything else I think I can do? I think I want to do a balance check. I think that's my best bet right now. We're going to dump this positive two since I don't really need it. Or I will maybe later and regret this, but let's go ahead and dump this one. And then we're going to do a balance check. So six and six. No balance. Six and six. Seven, seven. All right, so now we're gonna lay out the last two city cards and some dream cards to go with. So we have a negative three and a chaos card. Awesome, great. Now we have a positive one and a negative two. That's not too bad. And we'll draw back up on our own hand to four cards. Okay. Woof. Okay, I have an idea actually. Let's do this. I'm gonna discard this negative two to swap these two cards. Then, let's see what I can draw. I want to put this negative one right here. Yeah. Oh no, it's like, of course, a chaos card came and messed up my plans. Oh, well that was garbage. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just, this is balanced. Let's discard this chaos card to remove both of those. That sucks, but I think that's my best choice. We'll draw back up. Okay, let's put this negative three right here. We will discard this negative three to swap these cards and thus bring this city up here into balance. So I need a positive four and a positive three for the moment right here. Let's see what I can get. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna do I can't do much, but let's go ahead and put this positive two right here. Got another delightful negative dream. Great. Awesome. Mm, let's put this positive one right here. More negatives. Great. Um, let's just go ahead and put this one here and hope for the best. Do a little swapping or something at some point. Ah, oh, yes, a positive, thank goodness. Okay. So let's do this. And then we are gonna discard this negative three to swap. So now I have three here and three here, and I need one more, which I have. Okay, awesome, awesome. We're gonna play this card. Oh my gosh, yes. And we are gonna discard this one to do a balance check. So we have seven and seven. So this one's in balance. We have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's in balance. I cannot believe I just won this. That was, that was looking really bad right there. <laughs> and then three and three. Excellent. All right, so we had three cards left in the deck when we pulled this off. All of the cities are in balance for a total of 12 city cards that we have claimed in this game of Urbion. So that's the basics of how you play. I hope that you enjoyed it and happy gaming.